Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Kiri, and because it's fall, it's baking season, and it's time to get all the cozy vibes. So today's video is just a few baking recipes. So starting with the ultimate fall item, it to me is something with pumpkin and something that involves pie. So how about combining them but making it a little bit cuter and simpler to make and not this massive huge pie. Let's make little pumpkin hand pies together. So first of all I made an all butter crust and I just cut the recipe in half. I will link it down below but I just cut it in half because I'm just making little hand pies and I didn't want to make a ton. Then obviously pumpkin puree and sugar and all of your pumpkin spice seasonings. Plus I always add a little bit of cardamom when I'm doing actually almost any fall baking but especially with pumpkin and then we're just going to put this mixture we're going to cut out the dough with um, just like a jar lid because that's the simplest to get perfect little circles and then we'll just put this pumpkin pie filling sort of it's also even easier than pumpkin pie filling because you notice there's no eggs or anything it's really just the puree and then your sweeteners and spices and then a little maple syrup just for that maple leaf flavor as well and then once we roll this dough out and cut out the little circles we're just going to put the puree just a little dollop and then seal up and make adorable little hand pies <laughs> And then after brushing with just some milk, then topping with some turbinado sugar. And these are ready when they come out golden brown from a 375 degree oven. So then up next, another quintessential fall treat, some baked apples. And there's no right or wrong way to do this. I chose to cut them in half because we don't have an apple slicer or an apple core or anything. So I just cut them in half and then used a knife to kind of help me cut the seeds out and then finish scooping them out with a spoon. But you can bake them as whole apples as well as long as you can get the cores out is the main thing. You could also slice them up into little slices if you wanted to make this as something that you put over some ice cream, but they are typically served as more of a whole apple style. So once we got the core out, then just put them in a lined baking dish and I filled the centers with some butter and then some brown sugar and cinnamon. And then these need to bake for 45 minutes to an hour. I said earlier you can serve this with ice cream the traditional way I had it from my grandma growing up was topping it with cream or half and half 
And last but not least, some super easy cheesy rolls. Just buy the frozen dough, follow the instructions for letting it rise. We like to do it in these muffin tins to keep a nice roll shape. It's about three hours is all on the counter from the freezer to being ready to go in the oven. And then I just shredded some cheddar cheese and topped all of them and then baked according to the bag's instructions. So that wraps up the video for today. You guys, thank you so much for being here and watching. I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe if you are not already as we are moving into all the Halloween content now so you won't want to miss out. Bye!